The war in Ukraine enters its 100th day with no end in sight. As of today, about 20 percent of our territory is under the control of the occupiers. A city that once housed 100,000 people is now in ruins. In the last 24 hours, Russian forces have intensified their offensive on the city of Severodonetsk, one of the last two standing cities in the Donbass region of Luhansk. They hit all the territory with rocket launcher vehicles every 10 meters. We have to hold the line and they can't move forward because their forces were moved from here to Izium, to Liman and closer to the Luhansk region. Ukrainian authorities say Russian forces in the east are now advancing west, aiming to capture more Ukrainian-held cities, including Kramatovsk and Slyansk. The Russian advance comes as the US pledged to provide Ukraine with advanced rockets to help Kyiv fight back and force Moscow to negotiate an end to the war, a military help that is crucial, according to Ukrainian military experts. The situation, as we've been told, is under control. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a war in which Ukrainian army uh, has been able to liberate, as our President Zelensky said, you know, over a thousand cities so far. We've been able to throw the enemy out from those territories which have been temporarily occupied. And we are convinced that this is what will happen with the rest of the temporarily occupied territories. We just need the weapons. After three months of fighting, almost 12 million Ukrainians are internally displaced. More than 5 million, mostly women and children, have had to flee the country. But Ukrainian resistance is still beating strong.